Today I'm going over how I grocery shop and cook for 10 people. And uh, I always tell people the two things that get me by in this life are organization and routine. If you take either of those two things away, I just might lose my mind. So of course, as with the laundry, I am the same way with grocery shopping and making lists. I'm very crazy about it. Um, I plan out meals for the week, week and a half, um, depending on our week schedule, taking into account baseball games, school events, um, hopefully a date night in there or something. Um, so I just go through my recipes and I also think about what I have. If someday my goal is to look at a flyer, see what's on sale, and plan my meals according to that, but I can only do so much. So I think about what we haven't eaten in a while, what the kids like, and since I'm in charge of cooking, I can cook what I want, so whatever sounds good to me when I'm going through my recipes. Um, I've had this thing since I graduated high school. Someone gave it to me as a college going away gift. I still use it to file all my um, recipes, and it's according to appetizers, soups, bread, main dish, desserts, um, and this is what it looks like. It's a total mess, but it works, and all my favorite stuff is in here. Our kids do not get a choice of what they eat. They eat what is given to them. I never make a special meal for them. They never get a choice of cereal or another meal. If they don't like it, then they go hungry. I don't have the time to do something extra, and I just feel like that teaches them bad habits. Um, and our kids are really good eaters. They love broccoli. They even love asparagus. Um, peas, not so much. Uh, corn, of course. And most of the meals I cook, they, they eat it. I usually make uh, fresh bread with every meal, and they love that. And try and do at least a vegetable, the protein, carbohydrate, and when fruit is on sale at a reasonable price, I try and put fruit with their meal, but for sure always a ve with dinner, for sure always a vegetable and um, the protein main dish with that. So I go through some of these things I've made recently. Sometimes I get just super creative and do something new, but not usually. <laughs> I also try and look at what uh, we have in the pantry, what I can reuse. Um, I'm not being very inspiring right now or inspired by my recipes. One thing I don't do that, of course, John wishes I did more is fish. I don't like fish. So, like I said, since I'm cooking, we don't see a lot of fish in the house. The kids will eat shrimp, but I don't like any of it. So sometimes I'll randomly do something for John, but um, during the season, his pre-game meal is usually um, shrimp scampi with salmon and then some sort of other dish. So I usually do like a pasta with marinara or something for the rest of us. Um, I don't know, nothing is sounding good this week. Most of my meals are... Nothing I'd want to share with a, a guest, <laughs> but uh, like I said, the kids eat them. They're relatively cheap, relatively easy. I do the crock pot quite a bit, which I find the crock pot like a secret magic bowl. Like, where else can you throw 10 things in something? Eight hours later, it's a meal. It's like the best thing ever. Hmm, what should we have this week? I have no extra meat. I have no extra anything right now, so. And you feel weird cooking soup in Florida because it's always hot here, but I still do it anyway. I don't care. Kids love tacos, enchiladas. Thinking of something else that would be easy. They're home from the park. Hi. Who are you talking to? Myself. Why are you all wet? Because <laughs> I was washing my hands because they're dirty. Where? On my hands. Mm. You guys ready for lunch? I'll take a break. <laughs> 